Hey guys, I'm going to be doing a short video tutorial today on how to do video tutorials. Um, two programs I'm going to be using, Kden, well three actually, Kden Live to do the video editing, Audacity to edit the audio, and then the last program we're using is Kazam, which I actually have a video tutorial to, which I will be linking to in the description. Um, just a brief overview on that, but I'm actually going to open my recent project of a screencast. Now, the reason I do it this way is because this already has my whole intro here. So, you've got that. So, now I will add in my video clip. Screencasting, loading, generating thumbnails. We just drop this right in here. And we'll notice I have a video I recorded a minute ago. Really had no idea what I was doing, just recording random stuff. But that's all right. What we're going to do here is split the audio. And then we are also going to ungroup the clips. Then we will add an effect. And it's actually easier just to go here and type in volume. Now, with my microphone anyways, when I record, I'm only getting one channel of audio. So, I know you can't hear this. You probably can, but there's only audio on the left channel. I have no audio on the right channel, and it's a little staticky. Now, I want my audio to be perfect. So, what we're going to do is take the same video and just drop it right into Odyssey here. It'll import it, and here is our audio. And what we're going to do is click right here, and we are going to split the stereo track. Then we'll delete the channel that has nothing. Screencasting here. We will change that to mono. Let's uh, amplify the volume here a little bit. And then let's find a spot where there's not a lot of talking, such as right here. Select, And we're going to noise removal here. Basically, we just have to get a noise profile, and then run noise removal again. Click OK there. And it'll clean out that static, that hiss. We'll play it here. No static, no hiss. Sounds beautiful. We're going to export this. Um, you can use whatever format you want. I prefer using the Aug Vorbis format myself. Just because it is a lossless and it has a very good quality. Um, trying to find where I have my screencasts here saved. Just call it that, sure. Save it. There we go. Template. We can leave that all blank. I don't care about that. Exporting. It's finished. We can close Odyssey here. No, don't need to save that. Then we have our screencasting AUG file there. We will just drop that right into KDN Live. And then we will pop that in right below the original audio. Delete the original audio. Group these two clips by shift, click, and dragging. And then right click, group clips. Now the reason we want to group clips is because if we need to trim something off the beginning or end of this video, say we wanted to cut it right here with them grouped, they both trim the same. So you keep your audio in line doing that. And then, you know, same thing with the end. You know, they both will cut at the same time. If you do any cuts inside, say we want to cut out this long pause. I'll just cut it there, cut it there. Go back to my tool, delete that. My audio all stays in line. So you always want to group your audio back to the video after you've edited it because you will keep from having any problems further down the line and that's really all there is to it um, and then of course you know once everything's edited you've made your changes in the title you just hit the render button okay so here it's loaded and then I generally just do MPEG 4 and I go around 4000 for the bitrate um, you also have the option you could do instead of file rendering, you could tell you're going to do a website and then do YouTube at your high def and it'll, it picks everything for you. Um, 
But yeah, that's something you kind of kind of fool around with to find something you like. And then, you know, just give it the save location and write which file. And that's it. And then, of course, you know, uploading it to YouTube or Vimeo, wherever you're going to share it. But that is essentially how you make a screencast and what I do to make the audio sound really nice. So thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys next time.